in this module we will be discussing about these cloud security tools and how, what are those key traits or key skills which we need or which you need to excel in the cloud computing environment cloud computing domain okay so many of the some tool same tools used in on premise environment should be used in cloud although cloud specific version of them may exist okay so the thing that if we are having an on premise server and we need to protect our data we need some of the security protocols and all those security protocols which are already being available on the on premises we can develop it for uh, or we can host those for the cloud services also okay uh, and although the cloud specific version of them may exist that we need we do, we, uh, the, we need to buy that cloud specific version so that it can be deployed over the cloud okay these tools and mechanisms include encryption iam single sign on sso uh, the data loss prevention uh, intrusion prevention detection system and public key in, uh, infrastructure so what does it mean that the encryption means that we have a uh, data sensitive data which needs to which is uh, let's have a mobile number uh, i have uh, some mobile number and if i access select star from uh, employees where mobile number is this so it means that i am accessing those mobile numbers but what if it is being encrypted so the encrypted means that when whoever has a decryption d decryption d a key will only have access toward that data else the the person can, cannot access it okay so here you can see that the, the mechanism have encryption then we have iam iam means that uh, the access controls the all those uh, thing that, that they are being provided the single sign on uh, is that that uh, i don't need to specify some of the uh, username and the password they have a browser and the browser is being telling that, that this is the sign on and the single sign on being uh, done then we can have data loss pre prevention that uh, the if we have data loss then it can prevent from the data loss or it will it has a backup uh, intrusion prevention intrusion means that if some hacker is being uh, accessing our data it will prevent that hacker to be access that data and public key inf infrastructure is that that we if we need to specify some of the thing that I need to share some of the things toward the user we can use this for the public key and for example if I need do not need to share so I have a private key always available or I will uh, not share any private key or the public key so, so the thing is that, that we can have the cloud security tools which are already being there we we can move towards the cloud security uh, levels as well okay now the, some specific tools include the cloud workload protection platform CW PP. Uh, it is a security mechanism de designed to protect workload for example the VM the application or data in a consistent manner then we have CASB it is a tool or service that sits between the cloud customers and the cloud services to enforce security policies that they within the communication within the transfer the hacker does not uh, uh, intrude into it and hack all the data so hack all the packets okay so here the CASB sits between them ensuring that it is a gate keeper add a layer of security ensuring that data is being transferred uh, thoroughly and securely okay then cloud security posture management is a group of security uh, products and services that monitor cloud security and compliance issues and aim to combat cloud misconfiguration and among other features so all those things are being specific cloud uh, tools which which are here to protect the data security to protect the data cloud okay uh, or the cloud okay so now we have some of the database skills which are being technical skills for the cloud engineer so uh, it it should be a learning a database queuing language and language mysql sql server hadoop can be really really helpful in order to deploy some database uh, towards the cloud then we have programming skills proficiency proficiency in programming languages php java dot net are essential and traditional programming languages such as python and and Ruby are also in demand so we can we need to enhance our skills in those as well okay then we have Linux and Linux and open source operating system and can be used to build uh, technology without going through the hassles of permissions okay so Linux powers many apps and web pages used today and cloud engineer who can architect and structure and maintain Linux based servers are increasing and the, they are in demand so we need to go towards the Linux systems and learn that and so that we can have a uh, right job or a high, uh, 
right skill then networking networking is also being important uh, to ensure that data so these are some of the skills which are being very much used in the overall scenario and cloud service pro uh, providers are there that we have some of the AWS Microsoft Azure OpenSCAD GCP Alibaba and so on and so forth so we need to go towards these this one cloud service provider at a time and then need to explore all of their configuration all the all of the technical terms all their services so that we can uh, assign a very much important skill in the industry then web service and api cloud architects wo uh, work on the foundation of apis and the web services open web services such as xml so WSGI are used to tag, transfer, and describe data, and these are very much important. Uh, if we have these of the skills, they they can be a added benefit for us to be to to enroll in a company or to hire in a company where all those things are being done. So these are the some of the technical skills for the cloud engineers. So please go through this so that you can have a better understanding.